Good morning everyone. I am Dr. Shakti Bhatsha, MDDM Clinical Pharmacology and today I am going to talk on Rituximab. We all know that Rituximab is an anti-CD20 monoclonal antibody. Coming to the mechanism of action, the FAB domain of Rituximab binds to the CD20 antigen on B lymphocytes and the FC domain recruits immune effector functions to mediate B cell lysis in vitro. Possible mechanisms of cell lysis include complement dependent cytotoxicity CDC and antibody dependent cell mediated cytotoxicity ADCC. Coming to the availability, it is available as injection rituximum 500 mg, injection rituximum 100 mg, etc. in the market and coming to the dose in rheumatoid arthritis, rituximum 1000 mg intravenous infusion separated by 2 weeks and in case of non Hodgkin's lymphoma, 375 mg per liter square are intravenous infusions and this should be according to the guidelines. Coming to the pharmacokinetic, the half-life is 14 to 62 days and it is metabolized to peptides and amino acids, uh, amino acids that uh, can be recycled in the body or excreted in urine. Coming to the indication, it is indicated it is used in case of non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, chronic lymphocytic leukemia, rheumatoid arthritis, Wegener's granulomatosis, Microscopic polyangiitis, etc. Coming to the contraindication, that is known and warnings and precautions, infusion reactions, uh, tumor lysis syndrome, severe hypocutaneous reaction, progressive multifocal lipoencephalopathy, hepatitis B virus reactivation, and uh, bowel obliteration, obstruction, and uh, uh, perforation, etc. These are the warnings and precautions. Coming to the adverse reaction. The adverse reactions are infusion reactions, stimulation syndrome, lipoviridinous reaction, cardiac arrhythmia, general toxicity, and infection, and uh, anxiety, dizziness, etc. And so the drug is having so many adverse reactions. That is why the drugs to be used according to guidelines and with cost. Thank you very much.